Whether you believe in ghosts or not, the town of Alton, Illinois is undeniably creepy. From the McPike Mansion and the Mineral Springs Hotel to the First Unitarian Church, the town boasts of many haunted locations to visit. This is the creepiest, grooviest town on the planet. The town is so creepy, in fact, that many claim it is the most haunted small town in America. David Nunnally, a historian and paranormal investigator at the Mineral Springs Hotel, explains why he thinks the town is so haunted. This town has seen some really hard times, and, and I think that has led to some really highly charged emotions for the people that live here or have come here. And as a result of that, we have these hauntings. You don't have a place as historic as Alton that you don't have these experiences. The Alton Telegraph's been documenting hauntings in this town for 200 years. In a presentation before leading a ghost tour, Nunnally explained that tragic events have plagued the town since the early 19th century. Here are just some of the places and events that are believed to contribute to the hauntings in Alton. Abolitionist Elijah Lovejoy was murdered in the town in 1837 by a pro-slavery mob. Confederate soldiers were held at the Alton prison in crowded, dirty conditions. Nearly 1,400 died in the smallpox epidemic. The prison was torn down sometime after the Civil War. Both the Mineral Springs Hotel and the First Unitarian Church experienced deaths or suicides within their walls. The McPike Mansion is said to be home to many spirits who like to try to communicate with the living. So we do ask the spirits to join us in sight or sound or touch or smell as long as it is not harmful to anyone. Uh, whatever spirit is here, would you once again show us what a yes is? So if the rods cross, it's yes. Sharon Ludke is the owner of the McPike Mansion. Since purchasing the home in the 1990s, Ludke says she's had many experiences with spirits. Okay, so this is the, the, the basement actually goes under all of the house. And then these are the big metal doors here, like this. And we do close them when we do our tours. Today, Ludke says she's come to understand that all the spirits in the mansion have good intentions, and visitors to Alton are welcome to come into the McPike Mansion wine cellar to meet the ghosts. Another paranormal hotspot for Alton tourists is the Mineral Springs Hotel. Built in 1913, it was originally a hotel and health spa, but over time, it saw many tragic events. And then there have been a lot of high crimes and misdemeanors over the years in this hotel. Uh, two known suicides in the hotel, another drowning death in the hotel, and it was abandoned for over 10 years. And during that time, who knows? Make it red now. Turn it red, use your energy and turn these on. You can do it. I don't think you can then. You're not as strong as I th on his tours, David Nunnally takes visitors to all of the known haunted spots in the hotel, including the abandoned pools. Using paranormal technology, guests can try to communicate with the spirits. And though the only spirits they may have are the alcoholic kind, many restaurants and breweries help spread the spookiness too. Um, October does tend to be our busiest month of the year. Um, I'm sure that the colors and the Halloween tourism have something to do with that. Lauren Patton is the co-founder of the Old Bakery Beer Company. We partner with one tour in particular from Alton Odyssey Tours um, to do a craft beer haunted tour. And so you get to try a beer sample at each haunted location. Patton says the brewery also has seasonal craft beer flavors and a beer and Halloween candy flight pairing. David Nunnally says the paranormal tourism is a boost for the whole town's economy, and not just during the fall. It's a year-round industry. Everyone here knows each other, and we're all in it together. And the city's behind it, too. Every paranormal tourist that comes to Alton spends about $400, $450 in our economy. That's big money, and it's really important. And more importantly, Nunnally says that all of the businesses that embrace Alton's haunted past bring the town together. When folks come to town for a paranormal investigation here, they end up going to the McPike Mansion, the Enos Sanitarium, the Cracker Factory, the Unitarian Church, all these other locations. And it's a big mutual, it's just a wonderful experience because we all work together. 
And, and you don't find that in, in most cities, particularly in the paranormal community. Sharon Ludke says it's a privilege to be a part of the most haunted small town in America. It is exciting and adventurous and you get to meet people from all over the world and the United States. And so, you know, I say the nicest thing about owning McPike Mansion is meeting all the nice people. You know, I think that's really, like I said, an honor. For Living St. Louis, I'm Veronica Moheski.